Let me try and show you how we get some of these sounds. First of all, none of them exist as a particular sound, as they would on an electronic organ. There's no magic button marked trumpet or violin or drums. You have to build every sound. And to start to build these sounds, you have to start with something pretty simple. And here are the simple things we start with. There are five of them. The simplest one of all is something that any lab technician must have seen at one time or another. It's called a sine wave. It's very smooth, very flute-like. A little bit more complicated wave is called a sawtooth. Something in between those last two, and a very useful sound indeed, is something called triangular, and it's kind of a pointed sine wave. So you can see it's a little brighter than a sine wave. Um, this one's called pulse wave, and I'm just going to show you how it swings into a thing called square wave. Very useful sound. The last of which uh, is probably the least useful, although you'd never want to be without it. It's very colorful, very coloristic, and it's pure form. It sounds like surf or a steam sound. It's called white noise. Now I'll patch this up here into one of my output modules and um, try and show you how with these primitive sounds we start to get some very musical sounding things. Let's uh, show you how one of these sounds might be laid in to a piece. sawtooth wave that's coming out of an oscillator.